I am at the Zions Canyon Visitor Center. I decided to, decided to stop by. I don't know what that other visitor center I drove by in the city was. Probably like some gift shop visitor center, but look at this. Isn't it gorge? Well, at least now I know where not to park. When I come back, I should have known better. I was like, man, it's really dead out here. Yeah, because I'm in the RV lot. Information. That is what I'm looking for. Oh. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably not going to get it today. That's cool. You know. Of course the visitor center wouldn't be open. This is stop numero uno. Let's check this out. Orient ourselves, might as well. And this is the big long line area. The shuttle runs this late, but not the visitor center. Am I? Okay, the parking lot's over there. I'm gonna follow these um, backpacks. They look like they know where they're going. There's my car. Waiting for me in the RV lot. <laughs> okay, um, now I'm gonna continue on my journey find a campground again. Shouldn't have made that stop, but hey, I know a little bit more than I did 10 minutes ago. So that's good. So the South campground is closed, or is full, of course, and I'm heading to Watchman Campground, which I'm sure is going to be full too. What was I thinking? Like, I can just roll up in Zion National Park campground full. Yep, that one's full too. And expect to get a camping spot? No, not gonna happen. Campers looking for sites in the morning. Watchman is an all reservation campground. We are fully booked for today. Go to South Campground, half mile up the main road from here for first come, first serve camping, which is where I was. It, but it is all full. And there really aren't very many other campgrounds nearby. Luckily, I brought my handy atlas. I'm going to head up to Lava Point Campground, which is only like 30 miles away, but because of the lovely mountains, it's going to take an hour to get there. And it's already 8 o'clock. Um, hopefully, it says it's a free campsite. Hopefully, Nobody is there. It's first come, first serve. There's like six to 15 campsites, pit toilets. Ah, oh, totally bites. Everything has kind of gone to crap. And I saw on the way up to Lava Point, there was this pull off. It's kind of um, like a circular area right off the road. There's a no camping site out in that field area, but I'm going to have to sleep in my car here tonight. I did not sleep well last night. I kept waking up. That sign right there. 
there's no camping. I was on my way down the canyon and and I saw this like little campground area that had a whole bunch of cars in here. One of the areas was all blocked off, but this area um, was not. And so I drove in here, dude, this is where I'm staying. And so I'm 15 miles from um, the campground I was going, which is about 20 minutes. So yeah, I think I'm gonna camp out here. This is super great. The road is right there. I have no idea where I am, but this is awesome. I'm digging it. There's like tons of areas you could camp. Kind of wonder, I kind of feel like this might be a better spot a little bit. I don't know, there's just not really a good place to put my tent over there. But I could put it right here. Ooh, and there's a fire pit. Yeah. I think I might move. That's legit. And that's right by the water. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Oh no, oh no. to go back to my car because this sign here and it says this is a privately funded outhouse it's here for you to use if each person pays one dollar per person per day my expenses can be met red donation can is inside please help be a part of the solution not the problem thank you the guy in the terry trailer Smells good. It's actually like the cleanest outhouse I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, this place is awesome. I love it here. It's so peaceful here. Some people have their dogs here, but there's no like yelling, kids, screaming. I love kids. Sometimes they're a nightmare. Um, and there's a lady over there doing yoga. Right there. I've got my little kitchen set up. Super awesome. Whoa. Okay, my breakfast is almost done. I have some pancakes, um, bacon in here. Try not to get too cold. off and dish up. Well, breakfast is done and now let's clean up. I'll show you my tent. Set up this thing with this tent. It's like super tight to zip up. I have to like the stitching is really pulling. That's, that's kind of worrisome that that will tear but this is my set up. So there's my garbage. Cooler food and my, we'll call them chuck boxes because that's what people on the YouTube say. And my firewood. Trying this again.
need a map. Okay, so um, I went to the information desk and the Narrows is closed until June. There's a sidewalk that's open, but gave me this newspaper. Oh gosh. Um, okay, here we go. So, uh, the grotto, or no, that's the trailhead, yeah, to Angel's Landing. He said it takes about four hours to hike that. And the first shuttle starts at 7 a.m. So I'll be here at 7 a.m. to pick the shuttle up over there. Okay, so number one. And then no wonder, because I was trying to take my maps up to the grotto, but only the shuttle can get there. And the shuttle is free. So I'll do that tomorrow. Um, and they have Wi-Fi in the visitor center, so I'm gonna go get my memory, other memory card and upload them to my external hard drive. I killed it. There's a bug flying around. I killed it on dinner tonight. Um, flame broiled burgers and I had some s'mores. Whoever created marshmallows is awesome it's like puffy sugary clouds of roasted goodness and it's amazing but Zion's is full park in town is what that sign says hopefully Loaded up, it's kind of chilly today. It's actually only gonna be 58 degrees today. Ooh, what's that? Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Do you need to check my ID? Yes, he does. The shuttle bus schedule is posted at every shuttle stop. You'll never wait longer than 15 minutes. It takes about 40 minutes to ride from the visitor center to the last stop at the end of Zion Canyon. Okay, this is the grotto. Stop number six. And the hike to Angel's Landing. A uh, thousand foot drop offs at the top on both sides. People have died. That's what the bus narrator recording said. Angel's Landing. Thank you. Uh, right here. Angel's Landing. Here. I'm not really sure. Yeah, so this. we go. Um, yeah. I'm trying to orient myself here.
Okay. And like it comes and it goes. Right. Like, you see the blue. Right. You know what I mean? Like I'm like okay, just like sit here. lady was right. I mean, she saw the sun through the snow and the clouds, and so I just hugged it out on the mountain. Oh gosh. And I'm headed up, finishing. So there's... That was the storm we were hugging the mountain on from and started somewhere down there. And I'm continuing on a made it. Like me to take one? Sure. Yeah, I can. This is like that popular picture all people always have done. 
I'm trying to do video and people are super nice. I keep asking if I want them to take my picture. So that's cool. I'm so glad I made it. That is gorgeous. So yesterday I started a fire with my flint steel, but the battery ran out, so I don't know how much of it it caught. And I found one of these, I want to call it a, like a pussy willow or something, but I've seen on the Discovery Channel that this makes really good tinder. So we're going to attempt this. I found this down by the river. like you but I do like the Gerber products that I get. There's some guys camping. Oh god, I need to pay attention to my fire. Across the way there. I'll show them. Like a stalker. But anyway, some uh, guys on horses rode up and said, you guys need to be out of here by the morning. I guess that, that's private property over there, so you can't camp over there. That's a no. And that's my dinner. Delicious. I actually just wrap it like that. Mm. Good. Have some s'mores and go in my car. My cozy, cozy car. Good night. Try this out. Ooh, that spork is awesome. Okay, let's see if I can film this okay. Yep. That is good. Okay, I did not want to forget to mention where this location is. It is about 15 miles from the visitor center and um, in Zions. And then off of the main road, 
It's Kolob Terrace Road, and it's 1.9 miles up that road. So, and I'm just exiting now. I don't know how packed it go gets in the summertime, but it's April. So, um, we have the porta potty there. And it's a really great location. <laughs>